I think um, that there's a real utility of both analog as well as digital tools, and I, I think both are incredibly useful. So uh, while I have a weather station that gives a digital readout, we also have a thermometer outside. Um, while we have a digital clock where the, um, the seconds tick by in numbers, um, we also have a circular clock, and we also have a sundial. Um, all of those are different ways, different tools with it to, to calibrate uh, the passing of time. And so for children to recognize the, uh, the variety of ways in which uh, they can use tools I think is really important. So um, an analog microscope is hard to use. It's a lot harder than a digital microscope in part because putting your eye, I mean if you've used a microscope much, you kind of have to get your eye centered just exactly right on the eyepiece and then you have to focus it and then you have to get the slide uh, constant. With a digital microscope you have a large green that's easy to see and, um, and you can look at that screen and manipulate the focus without having to worry so much about um, a variety of parameters at once. So instead of juggling three things, it's basically just one thing. Uh, and, and that frees children who otherwise get, when a child gets, uh, or adults, get really frustrated with the use of a tool, it's, it stops being interesting, it stops being useful. Um, and so making a tool as simple as possible and as, power as uh, powerful as possible is, I think, a lot of the reason behind using digital tools um, uh, predominantly. But um, I do believe that there's always a, a place for analog as well.